Oh my God, my we privilege to meet you. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna put you in my vlog. You're, you're a Marine. Uh, you're a Marine. I'm waiting for you to ask the question. Thank you. You're in the Navy, right? Yeah, and I'm and I'm part Marine. How you be part Marine? Yes, yeah. Thank you very much. That didn't take too long. How the hell you be part Marine? You fish How can I be a Navy diver and be a part Marine? Yeah. Here's how. I was awarded the Navy Marine Corps Medal for heroism. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. No, really? Oh my God, my privilege well. to meet you. Oh, thank you. Uh, my, my first, uh, God bless well, you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, let's God bless the guy that paid the ultimate price, one of our shipmates that was uh, killed in the operation. Uh, we were doing a salvage off uh, Coronado, California. Yeah. And um, we drug this, this ship off the beach and the pumps couldn't keep up. So we drug it alongside our fleet tug which uh um and, and it still couldn't keep we can introduce you to mark have you, have, you, have, you, have you know have you met mark yet who mark have you may have a story no okay i'm gonna introduce you to this go ahead uh -huh. keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. okay so um anyway uh in the process of doing all this stuff uh the whole operation went to shit. the, the boat sank and it was heavy seas and the captain says get off you know, abandon the ship. We were over here in a rubber boat. The sun had already gone down. And uh, it was dark. All you could see was dark and inky blood. Like, so we seen the ship up like this. And we go, what the fuck happened here, you know? And I said to my diving officer, we're in a little rubber boat. I said, hey, uh, so I don't understand why they didn't have you doing this. Well, it was out politic. Out politic in regards to the older officers, the more senior officers, they wanted to do it. You know, they wanted to be in charge of this stuff. So, uh, anyway, we get a call. Come over, come around here to pick up survivors. And go, survivors? What the hell is going on here? Because we didn't see what was going on there. Captain, Captain said, abandon ship, right? And so, all the guys on the, on the, on the boat that was there trying to keep the boat, jumped off with their life jackets on. One guy was on around the deck, a big wave picked him up and slammed him down into this hole, which cargo netting was down there. His foot was wrapped up in the cargo netting, and, it, and the surge of it beat the shit out of him, right? And he's being sloshed around the ship. So we came over there to try to rescue this guy. And, um, so I was the last one. I mean, this was dangerous as can be. Mm -hmm. My floor is floating back and forth. This guy's, the ship's sinking. One of our shipmates is in the thing. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, my God. So, um, anyway, uh, we swam over there, and everybody's trying to do something. But we were overpowered by the sea and the situation. The thing ended up sinking. Picked this guy. One of the guys got a hold of him. A little bit, but the surge of the water going back and forth. The way. So how deep? How deep did he go? Uh, well, it's not how deep. It's down in a hole, and then there was another space there, back to being water surging in from another compartment. So uh, we were never doing anything. So we're the, we're the last one out of the water. Uh, the other guys that were in the rubber boat. I'm, I'm just trying to think of anything that would. Right the situation, nothing. Oh man, it was hard. Man. So I got in the boat. I got, the, I got in the boat, and I'm thinking my I got out of my fins and stuff, and I'm sitting on the side of this little rubber boat. I'm thinking that we're all in. I'm thinking we're gonna have to dive for them tomorrow. You know, we're gonna have to dive for our shipmate tomorrow. Man, this was low feeling. Not too long. It was like it was like the movie Moby Dick, where the sea held them down long enough. To drown them and then release them. So finally, things kind of the search kind of evened out, and the body popped to the surface. Wow, we 
I can't believe this. Got him, I gave him the mouth to mouth, he was throwing up with the rest of it. We worked him over, but he never revived, unfortunately. So I can't tell that story, you know, like, oh yeah, I got the Navy Marine Corps Medal for uh, heroism along the 8th highest, along with my other guys that were with me, without saying, hey, you know, it's not just me, it's a team effort. It's just, it's just one guy. And um, so without mentioning his name, Terry Cole, very cool. 1977, March of 77. Later that year, our ship went on, deployed, and uh, we went to Subic, and then we came back down, we came here, to Dumaguete, 1977, and we were the first ship that was been here in here about, in about three years. And the mayor met us out there on the, on the pier with a jeep, and, and it was beauty queen girls, and, and it was interesting. This place did not look like that then. No way. I mean, it was pretty barren, you know. Probably nice, too. Oh, uh, well, it was pretty islandy, you know? Pretty yeah. islandy. I mean, Sullivan like University. Sullivan University over there, they, uh, what's that? Like Bentayan or something? Or it's what? Like Bentayan Island? Or no, it was not rural. It was still like a city, right? Yeah. Well, they had a pier and there was some oh, there was city. More, yeah. And they had an airport over here, but there wasn't much going on. You know, it was pretty barren. So, um, anyway, the, from the Sullivan University, the uh, biology divers over there came out and invited us Navy divers on the boat and they took us over to Cebu. In the tip of Cebu there's this, um, uh, there's this underwater preserve I was trying to think of. Over there, it starts with an S, I forget the name of it. Sanctuary. What's it called? Sanctuary. Yeah, it's a big sanctuary, it's a gorgeous place. And so we got to dive there and that was pretty neat. So, I didn't, we didn't actually get on Cebu. This trip here, first time I've been back and uh, we went to Cebu. And uh, so get some time on the you island. Up, you should hook up with Justin. He's got some uh, nice diving things, you know. He's got gear, he has gear everything. And not that expensive either. I don't remember what it was. 5,000 pesos, three dives, and food. What a deal. I don't, I don't think I don't think everybody knows. But I, have to get, I, I, I was certified with Patty a long time ago. Well, that's a long time ago. <laughs> I was a Naui instructor and a Patty instructor mm -hmm. in the 70s. My number is like Naui 2110 and uh, uh, Naui 2110 and Patty 2143. <laughs> but then later it became a Navy diver and instructor, civilian diver and all this. There's a lot of good energy here. I like this energy. Yeah. You know, the other divers are going, no, all right, let's go. It's Man, I am so impressed with you, man. You're so what? So impressed with your story. Well, you know, if you go around, things happen. But what brought you to, the, to, to here now? Uh, you retiring now? Or? Well, I live in Las Vegas. I moved from Hawaii. I lived there 18 years. Maybe you're going to love Paul. Paul lived in Las Vegas. Did he? Uh, old Dog Matrix. He, uh, he was in charge of a finance company, uh, uh, an auto finance company. Ford, you know, he's that. He's doing that for a while. Now you're not talking about Paul with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know what? Just the other day, we, we we got this place, right? I said, well, let's go look around. Let's go down by the beach. You know, I wanted to see where the pier was and, and all this stuff. And so we walk around the corner, and I see this place, whatever it's called, the In and Out or whatever it's called. They like to have coffee over there. Why not? No, not the way not. It's right over in here. Oh, uh, Bose Coffee? What's it called? Uh, Bose or no, or um, m and M's. Uh, Some oh, no, yeah, yeah. So, he goes the other so time. I'm with Miguel and I look around. Tom, Tom and Tom's. Tom and Tom. That's correct, yeah. 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 So, so we walk over there and I look at it and I go, Hey, I said, let's see if this guy's here. This guy, all right? Let me meet these people. Like, listen to them all the time on YouTube and what have you. So I look at him and go, hey, there he is. There, there, there's Paul and there's Baby May right there. He's uh, So we posed for a picture. I posed for a picture. Yeah. Um, with him. I said, I gotta get a picture with you guys. Well, how neat, how neat. You know, but, uh, and um, so uh, I, didn't re I didn't know until about a day or so later, after listening to another one of their blogs that he made that night, I guess, that they got married the day before. I said, well, how cool is this? This is pretty neat. Yeah. He, he's a... Uh, He's a real cool, he's laid back, 
Uh, Old dog, new tricks. The way he is, the way he is in the, in the, on, on TV, that's his personality. He's a real nice guy. Kind, and he listens. Good listener, good man. Yeah, yeah. It's fun to meet these guys, you know. I says, I gotta get a picture. I got a picture. Okay, how cool is that? So, so they get a big kick out of that. And that's we all did. You know, it was, it was nice. You gonna move here? I might. I like what I, I like what I'm seeing. It's a wonderful place. Uh -huh. You got a ten, huh? That's nice. I got a seven and an eight. I had an eight, I didn't know what I was doing, so I gave it away. I'm one of these motherfuckers that doesn't stop. And I got 100%, and I didn't stop, and I've been turned down a number of times. And my mission, one of my missions in life as a veteran, as a draftee, as a person who served and with our other military brothers, is to help other veterans. And you know what? We don't quit. 